Hey everybody, this is Bobby with bobbystamps.blogspot.com. I wanted to show you this cute card that I made today using the a cuppa stamp set, a nice cuppa stamp set. Um, I'm sure you guys are well aware that this is on the retired list. Boo hoo. Um, it's such a cute stamp set. So I have been playing with it the last couple of days. I showed you guys yesterday how I made this card. And it's cute, but it wasn't one of my favorite cards I've made. So I really like this one because it's a little bit festive. So I'm just trying to give you guys some ideas for those of you that just have to have the stamp set before it goes away. I'm just trying to give you some different ideas on how to use it. So what we're going to need is Lost Lagoon is going to be our card base. We're going to need Melon Mambo to make our cup. And this is a piece of paper, um, the designer series paper. This is the other side of it, but this is in the Have a Cuppa Designer Paper Series Pack. And there's some very cute, different designed paper in there. So that's about that. And then we're also going to use this piece of paper. Um, this is just the background, um, this part right here. That's what we're going to use that for. You're going to need a piece of Whisper White for the sentiment and then we're going to use a doily and then we're going to use the cups and kettles framelits and this is the one we're going to use to make our cup out of we're going to use crushed curry for the embossing and then a finger dauber for the melon mambo where we etch the around the heart there you're going to need your heart punch you're going to need the ink pad melon mambo and you're going to need your ink pad for um, Daffodil Delight. And my ink pad is broke. I want to tell you a true story. I just called Stampin' Up! because I've had this ink pad now for maybe maybe two months. And it popped out shortly after I got it. And I got it to pop in. But where it wasn't just right. And every time I would pop it back in, now it won't go back in. So I called and customer service was great as usual. And they're going to be sending me a new ink pad so shout out to Stampin' Up! They take very good care of their customers for sure. So the first thing that I want us to do is we are going to go ahead and run our Melon Mambo and Designer Series paper through the Big Shot. I'm going to do that and pause the tape and I'll be right back. You need a Versamark. I can get it open and then out of the stamp set we're using the heart and you just want to make sure that you you get that inked up pretty good. And then make sure I'm in where you guys can see. I'm just going to stamp down and pull up. And then we're going to grab our, got a piece of scrap paper here. Sprinkle a little bit of the crushed curry over that. Make sure we get it all covered. And then you just tap it off. I'm going to put the lid back on this before I turn on the heat tool because that's an accident for me waiting to happen. Get that out of the way. Turn the heat tool on. And wait for the magic. You want to be careful when you're heat embossing and using the heat tool. You don't want to burn your fingers. They just love when you can see that starting to melt the powder. And that's that. That's how quick that is. Okay, this card is super quick to put together. So the next thing we're going to do is get our piece of Whisper White cardstock by four. And then we're going to grab the lemon slice. And let me get the heart off the mounting block and I'll put the lemon on. And this is how we're going to create our background. So you just want to ink that up and then you just randomly 
can you make sure that you're that you keep churning the lemon because you don't want it going in the same direction. And then I like to stamp off a little bit too. You can go around the corners, the edges of it first if you choose. I actually craved lemons <laughs> with my second pregnancy. Every time my dad would come visit me, he would bring me a bag of lemons. And with my first, it was watermelon. And both times I was pregnant, it was in the winter time. So they were kind of out of season and hard to come by. It was a hard commodity to find. Okay, so we got that done. We're gonna go ahead and grab the fast fuse. And if you've never used fast fuse, you just gotta make sure that you like check it off at the end when you're done. I'm gonna put that on our card base. And then go ahead and do the same with our designer series paper. This fast fuse is very sticky. It sticks really well. We need to put the doily down first. Let me find my doily. Okay, what did I do with the doily? I guess we'll just open another one because I think that one must have fell or ran away. It's a good thing I have plenty. Okay, and these are kind of hard to make sure that you've... Earlier I noticed when I was trying to get one out, I had two. I think that might be one though. But we're just going to place that right there in the middle. And the fast fuse is just a little bit hard on this. So just make sure... Oh, see, there's two. We'll throw that one away because I ripped it anyway. Okay. I knew that that felt like it was thicker. Okay. And I just kind of randomly, you don't have to put a lot on this because it's so thin that it's going to stick pretty easily. But just line it up in the middle. And then we're going to go ahead and put this one down next. Put it in the middle. I like it much better with the whole doily versus the first one I did with the half. I really like that one better. Okay, so then the next thing we're going to do is we'll go ahead and punch out our sentiments with the heart punch. And I like to do it upside down so I can kind of see what I've got going on there. Slide that out of the way. Grab the melon mambo. And then out of the stamp set, we're going to use, oh, I've already got it out. Just got it mounted on the block. And then you can see through your block, so you make sure that you have it on there good and straight. And then just stamp down. And usually it'll fall like that off there. And then you just want to grab a little bit of the Melon Mambo. And then you just lightly go around the edge of the heart. And that just gives it a little bit of color and a little bit of dimension, I think. I like it that way better than plain. Okay, and then grab your dimensionals. And we're going to pop those up just a bit. So you can put one in each corner. It's up to you how many you want to use. I think I'm going to do three. And then I'm going to have a little sneak peek at the end of this. I'm going to, I'm going to give you a little teaser for the new catalog. And I know I already did a video, but... I have something I want to share with you guys. So we'll put that there. Grab the other one. And I'm going to do the same thing. Just do one in probably each corner. You could do four if you want to, but I think three is fine. If I can get my fingers to work. 
And I'm going to just kind of tilt that one off to the side. Pop our heart up. And I think I'm just going to use three on this one too. I love these dimensionals. They really make a difference in the cards and so that it, it adds some depth to it so everything's just not flat. And then we're just going to kind of like place that in the middle. And there you have it guys. Cute card. And then here's the first one I made with the half doily. And then there it is with the full doily. So you could do it either way. Either way you want to. So my little tease, what I wanted to show you guys, and I know I already showed you the other day, but these are the stamp sets that I got when I went to the on-stage convention last week in Salt Lake City. So we got Moroccan Nights. This one was Sarah and um, Shelly's, one of their favorites, and they did a demonstration on this one. And this is going to be the next card that I make to do a video, so hopefully I'll get that done this week marquee messages and I can't wait to play with that one and then of course you guys remember the favorite baby beer so it's either going to be one of these two but I just have a great idea for this one so stay tuned for that to be coming up in the next couple of days and make sure um, that you visit my blog it's bobbystamps.blogspot.com and I would love to be your demonstrator. If you're not currently working with a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, you can email me, um, ask questions, whatever you need. I can put a catalog in the mail for you. And I wanted to say thanks for stopping by, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure if you did that, you hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks, guys.